Apple has announced their mixed reality headset. Introducing Apple Vision Pro. The era of spatial computing is here. And in this video, I will share the top eight VR and AR business ideas. For the first time in eight years, Apple has entered a new product category with a new mixed reality headset. And if Apple actually succeeds with this product and enough people are willing to use it, there will be more developers building software for it. And this will trigger even more demand. So the mass adoption of the mixed reality might be closer than we know. We have no idea whether it will happen or not, but they say never underestimate Apple. So just in case, let's have a look at which business opportunities arise with the adoption of this technology. The first one on our list is VR employee training. The point is to help companies train workers in safe and risk-free virtual environments while reducing operating and training costs. Here is a real life example. The company called Sketchbox 3D provided training for US Air Force. The person is using a portable VR headset. The real world is mapped one to one to virtual, so every real step he takes is also a step in VR. Once the training is completed, it is automatically graded and recorded for review with his instructors. With this one training module, they claim to have saved US Air Force $100,000 per student and cut training time from eight months to six months. Another use case I found is Shell, the oil company. They also use VR trainings for emergency response, for example. They do it to ensure the ability of their employees to follow processes when under extreme stress. Obviously, recreating these scenarios in real life can be impractical, expensive and dangerous, so it makes total sense to use VR, which can provide a fully interactive and immersive experience. The important thing here would be identifying the specific industry needs and partnering with experts in that field to develop a tailored VR training program that actually meets the demand of business. Now, there are going to be many companies developing these training modules. And I started thinking, probably it would be useful to build a marketplace for these training applications, where companies could find all of them in one place and easily integrate them into their training process. I've checked it out and such a marketplace already exists. It's called Immerse. They provide over 120 VR training applications created not only by them, but also by third-party content creators. So it is a true marketplace and it seems like a great business model. The second one is AR interior design. The point is to enable users to place virtual furniture in their rooms, experiment with different styles and configurations and make informed, purchasing decisions before buying. Quick example. In 2017, IKEA released an app that lets you virtually place IKEA products in your space and play with where it fits, where it doesn't fit, avoiding any manual measuring and physical movement of the furniture. Okay, the next one is AR retail. The idea is the same, to create interactive AR experiences while making purchasing decisions. These AR platforms allow customers to virtually try on products like clothing, accessories or cosmetics before making a purchase online. For example, Wana is one of the companies already providing services in this niche. They let users virtually try on sneakers before buying them. So they sell their solution to brands like Puma, Reebok, Gucci, and these brands can integrate this try-on feature into their apps or sites in only two days. If any kind of mixed reality headset goes mainstream, the demand for this kind of solution will increase drastically. The next opportunity is in real estate. I would break it down into two use cases, virtual staging and tours and VR architectural visualization. Virtual staging allows you to furnish and decorate empty properties to make them look more appealing to potential buyers. Instead of physically moving furniture and accessories into the space, it will be done in VR. And then you can also showcase the property in VR, transforming the property listing into a fully immersive and shoppable experience. The idea of VR architectural visualization is to help people visualize the property before it is built. The off-the-plan residential market is huge. And with this solution, you can use any flat surface and see your building as a model or a floor plan. So, before the house is built, you can walk through plans life-size and they can be put in any open space. Another business model is to use augmented reality navigation for indoor spaces. This app helps users navigate complex indoor environments 
such as shopping malls, airports, or hospitals. Users would use their AR devices to receive real-time directions, find specific stores or facilities, and discover additional information about points of interest within the building. The next one is AR Remote Assistance. The idea is to build an AR platform that enables experts to provide remote assistance and guidance to users in different fields. Whether it's technical support, repair services, or DIY projects, users can use AR glasses or smartphones to receive step-by-step -step instructions and visual overlays for troubleshooting and problem solving. Another area is fitness. Fitness has already become a popular application in the world of VR. Companies like Meta have been leading the way with immersive fitness experiences such as Beat Saber and Supernatural. However, these applications often lack seamless integration with existing health and fitness ecosystems. And this is an area where Apple could make a significant impact. With its extensive research in health and fitness, Apple could potentially introduce workouts into their headset. Imagine being able to engage in precisely guided workouts like a peloton while wearing a headset that is designed with breathable materials, some kind of sweat resistance and overall better comfort for fitness. And the last one on our list is virtual reality, mental health and wellness. Mental wellness was first measured as a $122 billion global market in 2019, and it is growing every year since then. There are billion dollar companies in this industry such as Calm or Headspace. There is a growing awareness among people regarding the importance of practices like meditation, anxiety management, and overall wellness. People are increasingly recognizing the benefits of dedicating their time and attention to these aspects of their well-being. VR and AR could enable these apps to progress to the next level through developing immersive environments for relaxation, meditation, stress reduction, and anxiety management. Flow is another company that already uses VR for meditation. Many people living in big cities don't have easy access to nature, so they can throw on a headset and they can be there in the mountains, on the beach, and just meditate. All right, that's it for today. I just want to say I am not an expert in VR or AR, but I am curious about business opportunities that might be skyrocketing in the coming years. So I just do my research and share it with you. Hope you find this valuable. If you do, please hit the like button, subscribe and check out my other videos on business ideas and trends. I spent countless hours researching them. As always, I appreciate everyone taking time to watch this video. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.